yeah, the smell of functions in the morning. What you just heard right there was a function. It was a coffee maker. You know, you put in some water and some coffee grounds, and out comes function. Not out comes function, out comes coffee. Um, or if you want to call it dirty, brown, stinky water, like I, I like to call it. Either way, you, you put something in, you get something out. So remember, a function is where if you, every input has one output. And we're going to continue working with functions here today and in this in this lesson. So our lesson is all about using functions to model linear relationships. So we're focusing specifically on linear functions. All right, our goal for our learning target for today is to construct a function to model a linear relationship between two quantities. And it might be an equation. It might be a table. It might be a graph. It might be um, a set of ordered pairs. We're specifically going to work with graphs and equations today. So we're by by uh, achieving that goal, we're going to be able to determine and interpret rates of change and initial values of functions when you're given um, at least two values from a table or a graph. All right, so we're going to jump straight to, uh, what did I say, page 361. Page 361, and here's the problem of the day. Let's read it through. If you want to read it, uh, take a moment to pause and read it through on yourself, by yourself. Okay, now I'll read it through with you. So it says a customer can use the menu above, or to the right there, at Bill's Brick Oven Pizza. So a customer can use the menu above to call in a pizza order. He or she use, chooses a size and then adds toppings. So the graph and equations model the prices of the two sizes of pizza. So you can look at both the equations, and you, or you can look at the graph, or both. So what is this problem about? Well, you might be saying, it's pizza. I want pizza. Sure. And it's also modeling how much you pay, depending on what you order. So what can, questions can you ask about it? Well, what is the 1.5? What is the 8? What is the 2? What is the 12? It kind of says it in the uh, menu, but this is also modeled here for you. And it leads us to the question right here, which equation and which line model the price of a small pizza? And then which equation and which line model the price of a large pizza? So that's what we have to decide. Now hopefully you can connect the dots with the numbers. Um, if you look on our example here, the small topping is $8 for a pizza plus $1.50 per topping. So that definitely matches up with this first one. Because you see 1.5 and 8 in the equation. But why is a 1.5 with the X? Well, that means however many toppings you choose, you have to multiply that by 150. So if it's just one topping, it's just 8 plus 150. But if it's two toppings, you have to plug in 2 for the X, multiply it by 1.5, and add 8 to it. Whereas if you look at um, our large pizza, $12 plus $2 per topping. So it's more expensive. And the more toppings you add, the more expensive the pizza is. So now which goes with which on the equation? Well, hopefully you recognize that when we're dealing with initial values or y-intercept, the initial value... is the y-intercept, okay? That's what you have to um, pay no matter how many toppings you put on there. So for instance, the y-intercept of 12 is for the large pizza. You pay $12 for just a large pizza with cheese. And then if you add toppings, it's $2 extra. So you can see it goes up um, $2 every one topping, $2 every one topping. Whereas if you look at the small pizza, it's just $8. But then you have to add a buck fifty for every one topping, so that's why it's hard to tell, you know, where like here's a point, but that's going up to fourteen, so six dollars for four toppings, which would go down to dollar fifty for one topping. Um, but that's our rate right there, and we can model those with either the graph or the equation. We can model it with a table too. I want you to think about. A table, if I were to do for a large pizza, 
if I would make a table of X and Y, X is the number of uh, toppings and Y is our cost. Okay, so toppings and cost. Well, if I have zero toppings, I still have to pay $12 for that pizza. So that's my initial value where the X is zero, the Y is 12. If I want to add one topping, I have to add, I pay 14 bucks. If I want two toppings, I pay 16 bucks. If I want three toppings, I pay 18 bucks. And you can see this is linear, not only because it's on the graph, but because it's a constant increase for every one added topping. So that's just one example of what we're going to be doing in this lesson. So let's turn the page. Uh, just answer the couple of questions there. Number one says, which equation and graph represent the price of each size pizza? How do you know? Well, we said the large was y equals 2x plus 12. And the small was y equals 150x. So it's $1.50 per topping plus the $8 you have to pay no matter what. And on the graph, um, the blue represented the large. The red represented the small. So number two, uh, the graphs and equations in the triad problems are linear models because they model or represent linear functions. So A, a linear function has a constant rate of change. Boy, we've been talking about that. What do the rates of change represent in this problem? So we had 150 and we had two. It is the price per topping. So for every topping, it can change depending on how many toppings you buy. B, the initial value of each function in the triad is the value of y, or the price, when y, x equals 0. So it's your, like your starting value, starting price. So what are the initial values represented in the, in the situation? So price for pizza before toppings, I guess I'm guessing cheese is there. So we'll say before added toppings. So if you just want cheese, you just pay whatever that initial value is. And then last question: What quantities or what quantities do the variables x and y represent? So x was toppings, number of toppings. And then Y was our total cost. And use the phrase is a function of to describe the relationship between these two quantities. So the thing that depends, so that's the total cost. Total cost depends on the number of toppings. So total cost is a function of The, I'm going to abbreviate with the number sign, the number of toppings. All right. So that's how I'd write that. So that's it for this lesson. Um, I want you to think about uh, the problems there that you were looking at there. Which, which, and, and the reflect question is, which type of model would you rather use uh, to find the price of pizza? The equation, which showed the price per topping plus the uh, starting price, or the graph, which model it more visually. You decide. And I want you to go back to our learning target for today, which was to construct a function to model a linear relationship between two quantities, something that has a constant rate of change. That's lesson 16.1. We'll see you next time.